วัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะจานีค่ะ Hi Janika, how are you? I'm Nigel. This is Natalie. We're filming for Thailand's favorite restaurants by cocktail, and we're partnering with the TAT to bring some of the best tastes of Thailand to um, all of our uh, friends around the world. I hear you've only been here three or four months. Is that right? Actually, I've been here like eight months now. And you have a beautiful, beautiful restaurant in here. And what we're going to do today. I'm hoping is to go to the greenhouse because I heard you've put some like new plants and herbs and spices that you're growing in the greenhouse. Maybe some of them we're going to be eating today. Please follow me. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to be using some of this today in today the dish. We, None of we this. Just, we just use mint. Mint. Over there, okay. Yes. So we use this one like in the like in tom krong and tom yam, and sometimes we have the fermented pork salad. But they, you, you can smell right when you cut the smell so strong. Oh, you can right. Yeah, oh, yeah that so does strong. Smell. So we're going to use a lot like uh, all the herbs and thing here. We use like the, the salad is quite a strong flavor, so you have to eat with the vegetable. These fresh herbs and spices just have a short 100-meter journey to the Prana Khand kitchen. Now we're back in the private dining room, right? After a little trip to the garden, yes. chef, and you're going to prepare one dish for us. It's yellow dish. curry crab. It's like a, a yellow curry. Yes, so. like a southern style. So it's a southern style yes. yellow yes, curry. Yes, like in the style of Thailand. With crab. Eat a lot of like turmeric, and then we have the crab meat in this, and then. Some bitter leaf, and it's a, is it a difficult dish to prepare? So I mean, now yeah. it's not hard. You just go get the uh, many good shops that you can pick. Just like I just show you a little bit, like what we put inside here. Yeah. So we got some fresh turmeric, c o f f e l a m fruit, and the leaves, dry chili, shallot, and the uh, sexy garlic. That <laughs> <right>? <laughs> But it looks so colorful. I mean, they they look so fresh and vibrant. They don't look at all sad. So like all the Thai curry paste, like you can see, they have the same base for the southern mm. dish. We have like. They use a lot of the black peppercorn the, right, to right, make like right, if you right. eat the southern food like yeah. even the orange gang som or southern like a gang tai pai everything they yeah. will have the black peppercorn inside of the curry paste. And these are organic Thai. Yes, so we support like a real direct from the like local farmer and things. <laughs> When I was working in south of Thailand. Yeah. So. Yeah. I have a lot of contact with the local farmer and oh, like a fisherman. Nice. Yeah, so you brought the you kind yes. of brought some of those yes, dish, so um, some ingredients of from the south up in up yes. into Bangkok. Yes. Let's get going, shall we? Add the coconut milk first, yellow curry paste, shrimp paste. As you can see, the start turn yellow. So we will add some more of the. A bit more coconut. Yes. It's already the aroma is already <laughs> like woo. My stomach is like rumbling right now. All right. In South of Thailand, the breakfast for them is like some kind of curry like this. It's this a, is a typical breakfast. Yeah, so. like can be no, breakfast okay. with the fresh rice noodle or sometimes with the rice. Yeah. So how long have you been a chef? I would say twenty. y e a r s Twenty years. I start quite early, like. Yeah. Did you did you learn to cook at home from your mom yeah, or your grandma? Yeah, from my mom. I I grew up in very small village. Like when my mom make like curry paste, she she gonna ask me, "Can you go behind the house, grab some lemon grass, kalanga, everything like all this we grow in the house, so you don't need to go to." So when house. we went to the greenhouse, it brought back memories of yes, your childhood. Yes, just brought back to the childhood. I have to harvest the coconut. You have to run up a coconut oh, tree. Actually, not. I just have some something that, like a bamboo oh, stick. It's not fun at all. It's hard work. <laughs> But when you grow up, you think, oh wow, I learned a lot from my mom. Have you brought any of your original mum's your mum's original dishes? I had some few dishes that's on the menu, like uh, when my mum like to cook a lot. Like a jungle curry, the red curry without coconut milk. Yeah. Gang pa, Thai c o u p l Finishing touches are added. The yellow crab curry and accompanying dishes are plated ready for Natalie's expert opinion. While we were busy chatting, Chef Kanika had magically produced a range of eye-catching and mouth-watering dishes. Okay, so I'm about to try this crab curry. Yes, it's actually um, one of my one. favorite dishes. It's a really well balanced between the sweetness of the crab and the spiciness of the curry. 
It's really good. So much herbs. Yeah. And the fragrance of it, it the freshness of it, it's amazing. Really good. Thank you. Mm. So we have this one we call Tom Krong Ba Kapung Dang. So Tom Krong is some um, roasted herbs rather than fresh compared yes, to Yes, like Tom Yam, you just put the herbs direct in the pot with this, but yeah. Tom Krong, you just roast it or mm. of this first. Mm. This is the Chiang Da leaf. This is that. Yes, this is this one. What's the difference between Chiang Da and Bai Liang? So for me, the, the Chiang Da is. The flavor is more like a creamy and a little bit stronger. Mm. If you have like a blood uh, mm. low sugar or something, so this mm. can be like a help balance for your diabetes. The next dish is, is the fermented pork salad. People taste and they're like, oh wow. Mm. I can hear it. It's so crunchy. Crunchy. Very so, light, very flavorful. Yes, it's we, style. Yes, we wrap in the banana leaves and then we just have inside like uh, some garlic, some salt, and then mm. just smash it and then wrap banana leaf and we leave it for two days. Right, so, Chef, you prepared a vegan dish for me. This is it, isn't it? Yes. And what is it? So, this one I will call jungle curry. This oh. one, the vegan version. So, oh, this dish is, this is when I was young, about. my mom used to cook me a lot, but not the, with the chicken and beef and pork, you can change anything. Now, that looks spicy. Yes, it's very spicy. <laughs> okay. Tell me, I mean, you have a vegan menu, do you? Or yes. You, so, you're quite happy to take... Yeah, we have a friendly with vegan guests. We have like a chiwa, we call chiwajit menu. So, mm. we have for the health guests. Health menu. Chiwa, chiwa, chiwa jit. Jit. Yeah, yeah like a health, health? healthy yeah. menu. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try this, and I'm a little <laughs> bit scared that it might be very, very <laughs> spicy. Anyway, we'll give it a go. It's spicy. It's not. It's not that bad, right? <laughs> give your um, her mom's spirit and soul in the food. It's gorgeous, delicious. Not too hot. It's not too hot. It'll get me in about an hour, I think, won't it? But it is really, really. De oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit more of that. I mean, it's really, really delicious. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Chef, for taking your time out. Um, I know the hotel is uh, absolutely packed. Your restaurant is getting a reputation now, and you're getting very, very busy. <coughs> and I think I'll be back. We'll be, be back, yeah, <laughs> if we can get a table, because I know it's not easy to get a booking here these days. He's buying me dinner. Am I? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll be back. So thank you, Chef. Thank, thank you for everything. It's really, really good. Thank you.